Orale, que pasa mi raza? You already know who it is. It's your boy, OG Gordo. And like I said, we here state to state. Guess who I got in the motherfucking casa? Loked out TV, clown loke. What's good, homie? What's good? What's good? G, how y'all doing, man? I hope everybody out there staying safe, blessed, and on point as always. You know how we do it? That's right. That's right. Where you tapping in from, homie? Let them all know, like I said. Hey, homie. I'm over here in the G state. You already know how we get down right here. G dirty south in the casa. You know That's what's up. Right. He said the G state, Georgia. That's right, homie. We got the homie. He's a, a, a Suraño right there. Posted up in Georgia, repping the sur. You already know how we do it. But uh, yeah, we got the homie loped out TV on today. I was, it's been a, a, a minute. I've been trying to get the homie on. You know, we both been busy doing our thing. He works. You know, I got my shit doing what I'm doing. I work too now. So, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, let us know what's going on out there. Loped out, homie. What's going on, clown? You know what, G? We just out here maintaining, homie. Just miss I'm pouring me a, I'm pouring me some in my michelada right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. By the way, man, before we even... Before we even jump in anything, man, salute to everybody out there. You feel me? Salute, homie. Straight up. But, yeah. yeah, man, we just out here maintaining, G, trying to live the best life we can live every day that we live it. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to do right here. That's right. That's right, homie. You know. Hey, and uh, mm. that's what I try to do, homie. I try to tap, tap into all the homies, all the camaradas. It don't matter. Camaradas, even... The black homies too. If they want to jump on the channel, it's all good. Right. You know, um, white homies, it don't matter. It's all good, dog. So I don't want them anybody to get it twisted thing, you know. I'm trying to be a <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but anyways, uh yeah, homie, I, I've been uh, uh the homie Cholo Trucker is the one who uh I've actually seen your channel before that. I just, uh, honestly, I really don't watch too much of the YouTube channels, but um, I had checked out a couple here and there and stuff, you know, but I'm glad we finally got to link up, thanks to uh, the homie Cholo Trucker, if you haven't seen his shit, make sure you go check it out, that about those bien firme, I mean, uh, he's both, you know, he's put us both up on some good game, homie, he's, you know, right. he's very knowledgeable, that about the man. Uh, very smart. Um, honestly, I can't wait till I see this motherfucking uh, challenge go down, homie, with uh, yeah, Cholo Trucker and Gunner. Uh, what is it? Gunner's Collective? Right. Yeah. Hey, homie, what do you think about all that? I mean, I mean, obviously, they're doing it for a good cause. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, I, you know, I know how I feel about it. I think it's a good thing. Right. But, uh, Obviously, out here in AZ, we don't play that north and south, so in a sense, it really don't matter. But yeah, just out of, out of your, uh, since you're a Sureño, let me know what you think about it, homie. Oh, uh, shit, I think it's all good, G. That's, that's what I think about it. Like, even over here, even over here, like in my city, like we got Nortenos probably in like, like uh, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? But over here where I'm at, Nortenos never really they try to they try to uh catch a faction here, but it never went down, you know what I'm saying? But uh so I can't say I have anything against the north, the north and the south shit don't mean nothing to me. You know, honestly. You know, honestly, bro, it don't mean nothing to me. I'm I'm happy to see it. Anybody who watches my channel, they know that I push for for the unity. Right. And I want to see that, bro. I even uh I even have a video, a video, a two-part video I did with a Nortenio from Florida named Enemy. Shout out to, to the homeboy Enemy. And, uh, you know, that, that's, what it's, uh, that's what it's about, bro, because one thing I learned, one thing I learned and one thing I never understood is once I started getting locked up, and, you know, we got, like I said, we never really had no Nortenios out here, but we had enemies. You know what I'm saying? We had other hoods that was enemies. Some of them was other Sureños, and some of them uh, was like, they was called Fifth Avenues, and, you know, I don't know what they was, but they was just Fifth Avenues, you know what I'm saying? Right. 
and uh, they was like our enemies, you know what I'm saying? Then we banged on other surveyors. Like my hood, my hood is actually an ABK hood. For anyone that don't know what that means, that's an anybody killer. You know, we we fucking just take it to whoever wants it. All right. And uh, but then I would get locked up, and it's like, hey, we got a program together, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's no longer a hood thing. It's it's a brown thing. So. You know, once I once I started doing time in county jail, and and that's what I was I was running to fools that were supposed to be my enemies, but now they're they're I'm supposed to program with them and be be cool with these fools just because it's a brown thing, and then I get out and I'm like, well, what the fuck I'm beef with this fool for? You know what I'm saying? So then, and they'll be like, well, Cloud Lokes fear me. You know what I'm saying? That fool he he's a cool guy. You know he's straight. Right. So we run into each other and there ain't no beef thing no more. We kind of give each other a pass. You know what I'm saying? Then, But it's like, what the fuck am I beefing with these fools for? So, yeah, fool, it, it's like, to me, it's all good because I want to see that shit. I want to see the unity and, and I want to see. And, and the thing is, for, for a homeboy, the thing about the Cholo Trucker situation, and I done brought this up a couple times, but the thing I'm so proud of him for is because when he started making his first videos, he actually made a video speaking on this type of shit. And, and he was more like, I don't know if I could ever interact with these fools. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah. It's I not there know. no more. It's not there no more. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. I don't even know if he wants me to bring it up. But no, it's all good, yeah. It is what it is, bro, because I just want the homeboy to know that I'm proud of him. Yeah. Because I've seen the growth. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, he made a video. Like, I don't know if I could ever interact with these fools like that. And look at him now. He's doing his thing, bro. He, he You can see the growth. And that's what it's all about is the growth. You know what I'm saying? We're getting, a, we're, we're getting beyond this bullshit, bro. And, and it's one little step at a time. But at least a step is a step. You feel me? Exactly. I mean, exactly. And that, that's uh, real shit. And you know what? Um, that's kind of, that's kind of. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, homie. That gives me uh, a little bit of a uh, hope in a sense. What you said right now with the uh, Cholo Trucker, because you know what, dog. I had a, um, I had asked him when I had interviewed him. I said, uh, I, I don't remember what the exact question was, but he did say it's only been a year or two that he had really started changing his thoughts, his mentality, and all that shit. So, I mean, you got to give the Vato mad props. If that's, you know, if that's the way he was feeling at that time, homie, and he was able to bypass that, homes, that's feed me, homes, on some feed real me. shit. Because let me tell you something. Out here in, in AZ, we don't play that north and south, homie. We don't have that out here. And right. even even uh, the, the homies that come from Califas, bro, it don't matter if they're north or south, homie. They're going to function. They're going to run the program that AZ puts down, dog. And there's no beefing. And um, it, it would just be like us going to their backyard thinking we're going to run shit. It don't happen that way. Right. So whether, they, whether they're north or south, when they come here, they function like we do. It's all one raza, homie. And everybody's working out together. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, north, south, whatever. And they have, you know, there is none of that shit, homie. It just, you know, yeah, they, they, they're from Califas. They say, yeah, they're from Cali, which, you know, but, you know, it's like I said, it just be, it is what it is, man. And it's cool because if they can do it out here, they can definitely do it over there. Well, you definitely. see what I'm saying? So, and I've seen it, homie, I've seen it myself, dog, you know, and, uh, man, I just think it's a great thing, dog, honestly, I really do, because I'm telling you, that's what makes Arisa so powerful, dog, believe it or not, homie, I mean, uh, is that we are all one, and without me putting too much out there, believe me, you can look it up, I ain't even gotta say shit, uh, you can, YouTube says it all, homie. You know what I'm saying? The hand reaches very far. It don't matter what faction you're from, AD, right. Califas, whatever. It, you know, it'll touch you anywhere you go. 
and you can look it up it is what it is without me you know but yeah homie so and um that's crazy because i didn't think actually out there in the mid what is it considered midwest or dirty south or south like dirty south all day right here okay so dirty <laughs> south okay so yeah uh, dirty I south i didn't think that honestly is there a lot of a rasa? i mean do they actually function like the like that i mean because over here is and and i know in califas too because i did get locked up over there también and it's very very uh uh not racial i mean it's just very se segregated homie it's very segregated everybody you know what i'm saying right so it is like that out there también in, no, in georgia no out here out here there's you could function as far as other races go you could function with other races out here over here it's it's more like it's just it's just gangs like you get locked up and, and you know you get locked up like in my situation i get locked up i go in there once i hit prison because once i hit county everybody knows who i am anyway so let's just say once i go to prison they're like hey you know i just i just find my people you know what i'm saying i find them boom hey i'm yeah. kind of local south side locals right here i'm from dalton boom you know what i'm saying i'll give them my paperwork and then hey if you want to call some of my homies call some of my homies whatever and you know it is what it is, bro. If you if you feel it's necessary, but yeah, nah, it's it's not segregated out here. You can kick it with whoever you want to kick it with over here. Um, wow, it's just mostly it's just mostly gangs out here. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like like Nortenos, say say a Norteño was to come into the prison where I'm at, which is very like it'd be rare as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah. they are there. It happens. But it's just yeah. rare. But uh, but shit, even Serenos are rare. You know what I'm saying? Like we're outnumbered everywhere we go. If you ask anyone that's ever been in prison in Georgia, bro, we're outnumbered everywhere we go. You know what I'm saying? What's it's the most dominant? Uh, the most dominant, in my experience, will probably be either the GDs or the Bloods. Oh, I think they kind of the Gangster Disciples or the Bloods. They kind of ring. They kind of run head to head. And the ones that I have the most problems out of, and I've I've been toe to toe with them fools many of times, is the Bloods. And and once once I went to prison, <laughs> once I went to prison, we had problems with the Bloods before I went to prison. But once I came out of prison after the first time doing my my actual my actual prison prison stint, yeah, I it it was on it was on site with the Bloods. I couldn't stand them fools. Because it was always something with them fools. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but I've also learned. Well, let's let's go ahead and say this. If a Norteño was to go come in there, he's gonna program with us. And we're gonna program with him. Because it's Raza. brown. It's all it's Raza, exactly. Like this is all we have for where we're low in numbers and we, we can't afford to start beefing with you because of some fucking petty sh street shit you know what i'm saying like we have to we have to come together and we have to protect each other now keep in mind there there's always and even even me i ain't even going to see here in front i've had conversation with the other homies before sitting behind you know up in the in the pinta and i've had conversations like well what if a norteño comes in here you know what i'm saying and i've had homies be like well shit we're going to have to run ones with that fool. We're going to have right. to fade with him. But after we fade with him, it's going to be all good. Mm -hmm. And even me, I'm like, well, fuck it. I'll fade with him too. You know what I'm saying? But my mind was somewhere else. But yeah. But even even after you, even if one was to come into the prison system and catch a fade with us, we're still going to come together after that fade. It's not going to be no more issues. Right. Because we can't afford no more issues. We're already outnumbered everywhere we go. You know what I mean? And when I tell you we're outnumbered, I mean we're really outnumbered. For example, I was at a, I was at a prison one time, and it was like a 600, 700 inmates at the prison, which is still a small prison. But right. when you think about it, 600, 700 inmates, and there's only three Serenos at the whole oh, prison. Oh shit! And then you got maybe, you got maybe nine Paisas, which at the same time. 
Pisces is going to have to run with us. Exactly. But, but under our rules, we're going to go first. Yeah. So we're going to pop shit off, and then the Pisces have to come behind us. But we're going to, you know what I'm saying, we're going to protect the Pisces. We're going to have their back, but they got, if the, if the shit really pops off, they got to come in behind us. Right. But shit, fool, you think about it, you know, you got, you got 600, 700 inmates, and it's only fucking, what, 13 to 15 uh, Raza, period. There's, there's no more. Yeah, you a hey, homie. Yeah, that's a hey. man. See, and that's the thing about out here, dog. Is that like as soon as as soon as you fucking hit the the county or you in the state, homie, it don't matter. Um, they walk up, they jam you up, hey, you you know, you chicano bikes or whatever, homie, you know, uh. And it's just, it's way different. I mean, of course, I, right. I'm sure, you know, but I mean, there's, it's still, I mean, in a sense, let me tell you something. Uh, I've actually seen Vatos, uh, like some, some black brothers and uh, some white brothers, like from, I can't remember just throughout my time going through where they were actually from, but I know they were from the East Coast, Midwest, and shit like that. Hey, man, I seen this one OG black dude, man. More, I mean, I've seen it happen numerous of times, different people, but this one black dude, he stands out the most, man. He was an old OG, man. And I'm serious, homie. He flipped his fucking, his wig, homie, because he was like, man, I can't stand this racial shit. He goes, hey, homie, we don't play this out there. He goes, I can't, you know, if I want to eat with the motherfucking Mexican, I eat with the Mexican. If I want to eat with the a white, you know, and they were like, hey, homie, you know, sit the fuck down, you know, <laughs> and just, you know, chill the fuck out. I'm sorry. It's not the way. And I mean, this motherfucker blew up, bro. He he could not handle it. And I've seen it so many times where people, and I'm sure that even people in other states like Texas, Cali, the ones who who do have it really racial like that, I'm sure they've seen it also, man. I'm sure they can right. vouch for the same shit because I can understand if you come from another, you know, a whole different place, man, and you get thrown in this fucking, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, it's just, man, that would be fucked up though. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he was already an old dude, man. But I mean, I've seen it even with younger cats. I mean, um, actually, we had an OG dog, uh, they called him Playboy, um, and he had been down like 25 years. He was a Puerto Rican, homie, and he actually caught a case, bro, and uh, he went back to, to the condado, he went back to the county, and he fucking couldn't handle the county, bro, because the county, of course, is loud, it's different. It's so different than the state, homie, because, you know, of course, you're kicking it, you know, everybody knows, hey, you know, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? The county, so, you know, they're all sales, you know what I'm saying? And then when you get to go out in the day room, everybody's loud, you know, you don't get yard time, shit like that, homie, so, of course, it's loud. And he could not fucking handle it, dog. He couldn't handle it, homie, and he ended up fucking, he ended up catching another charge and he ended up going to uh to the shoe homie just because he couldn't fucking handle it bro Damn. and he was there on another charge because after 25 years that he you know had been down that's how i mean it's just it, i mean man homie i don't know it's it's weird uh uh even I'm sure, like, even over there in Georgia, the, the county has to be real loud and all that shit, too. I'm pretty sure. What do you guys mostly have? Like, uh, is it whites, blacks, or is it, you know, what it is? Obviously, it's more whites and blacks, you know? Over here in, like, what county? In, in, no, in, in, in county, jail. I mean, just period. In, um, Georgia, oh. period. Like, you know. Like shit, if you if you want to start, if you want to say on a state level, oh. uh, it's mostly it's the blacks outnumbered. They're outnumbered. No, nah, the blacks outnumber 
oh, everyone man. probably right and then and then you probably got the whites and then you know it's the hispanics but uh like in my in my in my county my city you know what bro i'm blessed i'm blessed to have a city that's probably over 50 percent hispanic population you know what i'm saying i'm blessed to have that bro and uh like yeah we we're, we're out here in my city bro we're right here so in my county like i said uh you know i go i go to county bro and it's like she you i usually get put in a dorm and it's like homies all up in there you know what i mean and it's like oh shit cloud loca here you know what i mean oh, but yeah. yeah bro uh if, if you want to start like talk about the whole state it's probably like mostly blacks mostly and then blacks. i would say that that whites and then and then uh but the whites i don't know man the whites are on some other shit over here and it, and, and it kind of trips me out because i've heard about uh i've heard about other states and and the fucking they like call them woods they call yeah. them woods and all that shit bro and it seemed like them white boys are hard with that shit you know yeah, yeah. over yeah. here no nah. i mean no nah. no and it's kind of hard on me because when i go to prison it's like automatic you know you gotta fucking just go ahead and prove yourself real quick because uh over here man it's like we don't i guess we don't have the woods you know what i mean like right right yeah yeah we don't have those like that bro like yeah now don't get me wrong we have the white boys that go ahead and handle their shit real quick and we do like the ab's we do have ab's over here and we got another one called uh gfg which is ghost face gangsters oh okay yeah and uh some of them not all of them but some of them are really about their shit you know what i mean yeah but uh for some reason bro i i feel like like not all of the white boys over here are really about their shit at all, man. And it's kind of hard because when I go to prison, it's like the first thing they always ask me if like if you if I run into people and they and they don't know how to read tattoos, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm tatted up, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? And, and it's plain to see if you know how to read tattoos, it's plain to see who I am and where I go. Right. But uh, you know, I've, like some white boys work. Are, and they'll come up on me and they'll be like, hey, are you Ghostface? And I'll be like, hell no. You know what I mean? Hell no, nah, bro. This Southside Locals right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for my homies. And sometimes I'll get put in a dorm and there won't be no homies there. I got to wait till yard car or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but I've seen, I've seen too many, from what I hear from other states, and then what I've seen in my state, nah, bro, the white boys are, I don't know what's up with them. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's up. With it. I don't know what they got going on, bro. And it's shit, it's it's, it's kind of embarrassing a little bit because because it's like, what the fuck's going on? I've I've done seen too much embarrassing situations. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. I mean, I mean, man. Uh, but then again, I mean, at the same time, you really don't fall under that 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 uh that estilo you know what i'm saying he's still if you're a sudanian i guess like over here regardless if you were you came into our our county or whatever you said you were sudanian you're automatically gonna function with the raza it don't matter right it don't matter you know so you know and there ain't gonna be no white people fucking with you, none of that shit, because you know right. we already, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, but yeah, um, it's it it is a trip, homie. To I trip out on like I've seen on, on lockup and shit the Georgia, uh, Georgia, Georgia um, prison systems and in Tennessee, all that shit's pretty much the same, huh? Because like you said, Tennessee and Georgia's and yeah you know um man that you know honestly i think it would be hard for me out there dog because just for the simple fact um like i i don't know how true it is is it true that that uh they let like uh child molesters and rapists walk the same uh the main line and shit or i mean uh I mean, because I would say, you know what? 
over here we don't have no SM like uh safe yard. Yeah, right. Or there is no safe yards over here. So um I would say so. I would say yeah. that they do put them in. Like they do put them in general population because and, and you know what? I can't say I can't say that I've ever ran into anybody that uh because over here you it's like with me. I don't give a shit about you if you're not one of my people. You know what I'm saying? If you're right. if you're not if you're not part of part of who I'm fucking with, and that's the thing when I'm in prison, even when I'm locked up in county jail, but I try to stay to my own because yeah. I feel like for whatever reason, just because because I'm not I'm not oblivious to the fact that I'm a white boy. You know what I mean? Right. And you do have the hint there that kind of looks at you a little harder. You know what I mean? Like they they kind of They'll watch you a little harder when you when you're a white boy, you know what I mean? Or maybe even a black, you know what I'm saying? Like they okay, let's keep our eyes on him a little harder just in case mm -hmm. this boy ain't about what he says he's about. So I'm more of the fact, I'm more of the way, like if you ain't if you ain't fucking that's not say that I ain't kicked it with other races because I've had some fucking really good friends that was from other races, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, you know, I really do try to stay to my own because so if someone was to come in and they was on that on that bullshit, like bad paperwork, or whatever, if they ain't with me, bro, or are part of the faction that I'm with, I really don't right. give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's none of my business. Yeah. And basically, it's like this, también, you know, in all honesty, I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to do? You're only one person. You can't go fucking uh, uh, murder everybody because they're you know, right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, know, shit. And and that's just keeping it real. And I'm even saying it myself. You know what I mean? I'm. Uh, and I guess, but um, yeah, that's the only thing that would be hard for me. I guess to do time in other like East Coast or Midwest. You know because, um. It's so embedded in us, homie, that, you know, it just, I mean, but I understand, like, I totally understand, like I said, you know, because you're only one person and you can't, you know, go over there fucking, you know, killing everybody because they're fucking right. child molesters. And yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I mean, I've, I've heard of, you know, like fucking chomos being on the main line, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. they wasn't with me. They wasn't in our yeah. faction, so... Fuck yeah, it. yeah, I, mean, I hear you. I mean, it's just, it's just uh, weird, huh? Isn't it weird though? How I mean, from, I mean, uh, um, just from one state to another, how shit will change that fast. I mean, like that fast. I mean, I don't know, dog. It's crazy. But anyways, we can get off the prison subject and let's get on some, you know. Uh, so. You were telling me you got a baby coming pretty soon, homie. I mean, is this your first one? And I mean, nah, this is uh, actually my sixth one. <laughs> oh, really? oh, hey, that's cool, dog. I got nine. Hey. I got nine. Nine. Okay, then, she, you know, but hey, on some real shit, yeah, they're not, you know, biologically, three of them, you know, but the other ones, yeah, you know, but I still love them all the same, homie. I love them all the same. Yeah, all my kids and I ride with them, you know what I mean? But yeah, but anyways, get back to you know, my bad. But you got a you got six, you said, and you got another. Is this so? This will be your seventh or your sixth? This will actually be my sixth one, yeah. Okay, all right. I got a well, I had a one, one child that died when he was six weeks, so oh man. Yeah, I had a little Sorry, boy yeah. die when he from SIDS when he was six weeks. So um this will be uh I guess my fifth one. Well, this is my sixth one, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's your sixth I one, have man. after this one I have five. Yeah, I have five kids. Yeah, bro. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, homie. You know. Appreciate um, that, bro. Yeah. yeah. But uh yeah, that's cool, dog. You're always you know, you're getting you a uh you're getting a football team, homie, you know, get them, get I them am, out yeah. together, you know what I mean? I mean wait, do you know what is it a boy or a girl or you don't know yet? It's a boy, as a matter of fact. 
Yeah, it's a boy. I, so, so I have after this one, I have four boys and one girl. All right. Hell uh, yeah. See. You. And sure. hey, and Dispensa, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you with the background for a minute, but I just want to show you something real quick. Do your I'm thing. You Do your thing. Do your quick. thing, homeboy. Take your time. Shit, yeah. Fucking beer bottle falling. Out. Look, <laughs> yeah, check this shit out. Oh shit, got the Charlie Brown. That's right. Hell yeah. And I have a I have a matching one, right? So me and the little me and the little homie gonna have the matching Charlie Browns and shit. Oh man, that's bad, homie. Yeah, that's just yeah. dope. Hella <laughs> dope. Get us some little Cortezes with some uh, Levi's. And I, I actually have him the baby Cortezes, man. I ain't, I'm not going to get up and get them, but I have the baby no, Cortezes, I, too. I, I believe you, shit. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hey, that's feeding me, dog. I mean, ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing like it. I got three boys, homie, and six girls. So, you know, um, the girls are, are the hardest. But I'll tell you what. My last, my first... And my last son have been the the hardest, the hardest. My first one, man, he's put that boy. I love him to death, dog. But um, man, he just I don't know. I don't even know how to put it, dog. I mean, uh, unfortunately, I was gone, you know, throughout his life and shit. I Missed mean, a lot of years, homie, and. Uh, they put a lot of bad things in his head on me, and you know, I tried, dog. I, when I got out, I even went to court. I got custody custody of my three kids from the baby's mom because I had three kids from that baby's mama, and uh, and I actually won, bro. And but they started telling me that they didn't want to come. They wanted to stay with their their grandfather. So I was like, cool, you know what? I'm not going to force you guys. I said, but you know what? Let me tell you guys something. You can never say that I didn't love you. I didn't care because you know what? This is your choice, you know? And now I ask myself, did I do the right thing by not taking them? If I, I should have just, because they were already going to start transi transitioning into my home and all that shit by the courts, whether they liked it or not. But... I didn't want to hold them down. If they didn't want to be with me, homie, I didn't want, you know, I didn't want right. that, bro. I wanted, you know, and, but now it's like, fuck, did I do right or did I do wrong? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, they, but of course they still shoot you down. They still crucify your ass, all that bullshit, homie. But it's all good, you know. And my oldest boy, yeah, man, he's, just like me, same shit, you know what I mean? My youngest son, you know, he's uh, 14. Um, I'm trying to do what I can with, you know, what I can with him. And my other boy, he's 15, and uh, he's doing good. They're both actually, the, the last two are doing really good at school, oh boy, but, you know, uh, it's still, you know how it goes, man. It, you right. know. But, yeah, man, hey, so... I'm going to be honest with you. These two are the only actual two that I've ever really raised that I can say that I raised. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Other ones I didn't raise. You know what I mean? I got a 24-year-old daughter. I already got two grand grandkids, believe it or not. Um, my firstborn, uh, was she, I was 15 when she was born, homie. So, yeah, you know. I started out young, though, you know, so right. it is what it is. But, yeah, I mean, you know, all I can say is that what I learned, homie, is that I'm not going to have no more kids, bro, because what I learned is I can barely take care of myself. I can still have kids. Me and my girl, we can still have kids, but I already told her, you know, child is, you know, I'm not going to do it, bro. I'm not going to, you know, I'm getting so close to these ones. 
already here, you know, now I can, we can basically go on with our lives after this, you know. Right. Uh, why, why, you know what I'm saying? Hell no. I don't right. want to be fucking uh, going in there to teacher's conference looking like the fucking tata, not the dad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, you know it is what it is, bro. Yeah, bro. I fit. This this right here, I done told I done told mine, man. This is my last one. This is it for me because I mean I, I had it I had it up, man, and like by the time this one turns 18, bro, I'm gonna be about 60 years old. You know, it's it's over with for me. <laughs> it's over with, bro. I'm ready, I'm ready, and it, you know, even if she don't want to get fixed, I'm down to get snipped because. I don't want, I, I can't have no more, bro. I don't want no more. Hey, it's not even about that, homie. It's like this. Look, I mean, unfortunately, you know, like my girl, she still wants another one. But unfortunately, homie, it's reality. Reality. Right. Can we afford it? Can we really take care of our kids? Are we going to, are we going to be around at that age? You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, um, that's what I'm trying to think of, homie. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be around at that age to be taken. <laughs> and I, you know, I've been lucky so far, homie. So, you know, I just, I don't know. But, hey, that's feeding me, dog. I mean, going to have you another baby boy and shit. And this one, this one right here is going to be a Miklo, though. You know what I'm saying? Because my girl, she's Chicana. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, this is going to actually be a Miklo. I got a. I got, I got, shit, I got three mixed kids, three mixed kids by uh, Blacks and Dominicana, and then uh, I got a white girl, you know, my oldest one's by a white girl, so, you know, this one's the actual Miklo, though, right here, so, <laughs> no, I feel like, what more do I need, you know what I mean? Hey, dog, and you know what, if you're happy where you're at now, on me, you know, just, you know, do your thing, and yeah, why not? And I've been I I've been trying to get her to let me name him Miklo, but she ain't want to. She don't want to give him that name. But yeah, you don't want to name him Miklo. I don't know, man. That'd be a hard ass name to me. If you ask me. <laughs> yeah. What are you going? You, you have you figured out a name though? He still don't have a name. He no. Still, <laughs> no. We might end up. We might end up calling him no name. I don't know what that. Hey. Hey, junior, homie, it's a junior. You know how you do it. I'm, at, but, but I don't know because it's like my what my my six one. So I don't know. Like, is it is it still okay to call him a junior? Well, unless you got another one named the same, you know, then no. I, mean, well, I don't have no other juniors, but ah, hell yeah, it's cool. Oh, is it cool? Hell I thought yeah. there was a rule to that shit or something. I wasn't no, sure. <laughs> man, no, no, no. As long as you ain't got another one named, you know. And that's the thing, man. You always want somebody to carry on the name, man. Right. You know what I mean? You always that that's what carries it on. You know what I mean? Shit. You might as well Junior, homie, you gotta, you know. Whatever your name is, Junior after that, man. Cause that's to me, that's some proud shit. My first right. son, my first son, he's a, a third. He's a okay. third. Yeah, so you know, it's my name's been passed down, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's all good, man. Hey, uh, a junior would be tight, man. She needs to go in and stop bullshit and let me have a junior then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, that's when you got to just take hold, dog. You shit. Uh, there ain't, there ain't none of that. First yeah. tip, like, hey, there ain't none of that. You just let it be known, dog. You know, hey, with the, you tell them with all due respect, baby, I love you and everything, but this is how it's going down. You know what I mean? Right. Shit. This is uh, a junior but, right here. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a, this a clown low junior right here now. Nah. <laughs> Hell yeah, homie. Hey, dog. I've had a good night chopping it up with you, my boy. And uh, we're definitely going to have to keep chopping it up, homie. Oh, for sure. We can, uh, we can even start doing some, you know, lives. I don't know how we can do that, to be honest with you. I don't know how, we, you know, we'll figure it out, whatever, if we can go on lives. Or like you did, like we did on uh, IG. Right. We go live on IG. We I go live. Know, yeah. Yeah, we go live on IG. Anytime you're on StreamYard, I know you can uh, send me a link. You know what I'm saying? Send me that link. 
Oh, oh stream yard does it too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Shit. Yeah, you oh, know, we we should... some sometime fucking uh get cholo trucker and all that shit in there too. Hey, we can let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Yeah, you know what? I forgot about that, homeboy. I forgot about it. Yeah, hell yeah, we'll do that, man. We'll all three of us or whoever, man, whoever wants to jump in, shit. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Hey, Carnal, but hey, man, nothing but love and respect, homie. I've had a good time chopping it up with you, homie, and uh, I like, you know, I like your get down, homie. Feed me, homie. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you got my number, you got my IG. You can get at me anytime, homie. You know, shit. Just you know, you know what's up. Hey, but, yeah. Uh, I do want to give a shout out. Make sure you guys go check out the homie Loked Out TV, Clown Loke, man. You guys go check his uh YouTube channel out, man. He always has some good content. You know, you know what's up, man. You know how we doing it state to state, man. Straight up, homie. Look, all y'all gotta do K L O W N L O K. You type that shit in, it's gonna pop up, bro. It's right there, straight up. That's right. Hey, my G. Nothing but love from OG Gordo from Phoenix, AZ, all the way to Georgia, homie. You know what's up. And uh, we'll be doing homie. this again, Carnal. I'm glad we got to chop it up. But uh, hey, you have a good night, homie, and I'll uh, I'll get at you tomorrow or something. Okay, G. Hey, I appreciate you having me on. Much love and much respect, homie. Straight up. Tu también, carnal. I appreciate you, homie. Stay up, my boy. Later. Later, homie.